34 volcanoes active, even more than last year, which was apparently the record until now. <coughs> Including a volcano in Iceland, which is really big, even bigger than the Yellowstone supervolcano. And so it is possible there may be an eruption. So many. And then it would come down upon us, Fimble Winter, the winter without end, the sign of the immediate beginning of Ragnarok. And there would be brother killing brother and sister killing sister and great strife. Shields would be broken, axes would cleave skulls. People would act like cavemen. But, mostly I think the stupid would kill the other stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! And all the people who are irresponsible gun owners and who are terrified all the time would have their moment. They would leap out with all their guns and shoot all the people with all the other guns who were also terrified and running around. Looting and looting out. Boom, 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 And everybody who was relatively smart would be kind of like, well, I'm just going to wait over here. <laughs> <laughs> and the Ku Klux Klan and the sheriffs, the National Guards, the whole you're, the Oregon legend told by my dad, would all show up at all the bridges and all the overpasses over the gorges that let people come into Oregon. They would have the dynamite and the Semtex and they'd wrap them all around and they would wait. And then the first people would show up and they would all look at the first people and they'd say, is it time? The first people would say, yes, we have fish. And boom! We would cut off California. So. Yeah! <laughs> and boom! We would cut off Idaho. So. And there would be Cascadia! It would be easy. There would be hunger and some killing. Because, you know, it's Fimble Vinter. But, community, we'd come together as a community, and we'd say, why should we all hoard rice from each other? Eventually we're out of bullets, we'll come take it anyway! And people would work together, and eat lots of soup, <laughs> and fill it. And there would be pine needle tea that's full of vitamins, phytonutrients. And the canvas, the right color, which I don't know, it's colorblind. So people would help me not eat the bad things. <laughs> and there would be digging and hard work, and we'd all, it'd all hang off. And the skinny people would die. <laughs> <laughs> but the hefty! <laughs> yeah. And then they might even help the good skinny people get hefty. <laughs> There'd be an understanding of why Rubenesque used to be the really beautiful shape. <laughs> yeah. oh Which is not to say that there's anything wrong with any shape, because we're the smart people and the rest of us are still alive. <laughs> and we would be progressive, even in a time of disaster, because we would come together, so we'd be the helpers, like Mr. Rogers' mom said. <laughs> and even though ash was raining from the sky and fire and bullets, eventually there would be peace. And we think, why do we need TV when we have fire? <laughs> <laughs> and that would be the coming together under the trees seen long ago by the Norse people. And that's why apocalypse. Isn't always a bad thing to change. <laughs>